Tonight in Medical Rounds, the National Institutes of Health estimates that each year at least 40 million Americans suffer from long-term sleep disorders. Dr. J. Antonel de Marcaida of the Hartford Healthcare Movement Disorder Center says about 5 million of them have something to, called moderate to severe restless leg syndrome or RLS and Dr. Markaida is joining us live now to tell us more we thank you so much for joining us Dr. D. Markaida thank you for having me well tell us what exactly is restless leg syndrome restless leg syndrome is a common but frequently under recognized neurologic condition that is characterized by unpleasant sensation in the limbs that causes someone to have an uncontrollable urge to move them. It frequently occurs at night, so it can prevent or interrupt sleep. Well, how would someone know if they have RLS? The diagnostic criteria or clinical definition of RLS is most uh, commonly remembered by the acronym URGE. So U refers to the unpleasant sensation in the limbs, frequently occurring at R, at rest, relieved by G, getting up and going, and usually worse in the E, in the evenings. So if you have this particular constellation of symptoms and other conditions have been ruled out, consider whether you might actually be suffering from restless leg syndrome. Good to know, great information there. Is there a connection between restless leg syndrome and Parkinson's disease? So sleep impairment, which is what we talk about most commonly with RLS, is also common in Parkinson's disease. So this is something that can be a debilitating problem for both of them. Interestingly also, although they do not share a common brain pathology, the medication that most effectively treats both conditions is a class of drugs called dopaminergic medications. RLS can have a higher incidence in patients with Parkinson's disease, but the reverse is not true. You've given us a lot of great information, lots to think about, and I'm sure someone out there recognized themselves when you describe URGE, that acronym for the symptoms. Thank you so much, Dr. D. Markaida. A very interesting topic.